Hello friends, welcome to my channel. My name is Abhishek. Now we'll see a program to simply print this series. Okay. We have to take an input from the user. Suppose we want to print first 10 elements of this particular series. So simply we'll take the value of n from the user. That is how many elements you want in the series. Suppose we input the value as 5, n equal to 5. So simply we'll print the first 5 elements of the series. That is the first element, second, third, fourth and fifth. Okay. So this will be our output. Now, how this series is going on? will simply declare a variable and it we will assign that variable to a value that is one okay suppose i'm just giving you the gist of uh, the program then we'll write a program okay so simply suppose let us say we are taking the value of a as one so simply what we'll do is we'll simply print the value of a and then we'll simply print a slash so guys we are supposed to print one and afterwards in the next uh, element what we are supposed to do is we are supposed to double the denominator okay the denominator in this case is 1, then 2, then in the third element it is 4, then twice of 4 that is 8, then 16 and so on, okay. So guys what we'll do is we'll initialize two variables that is a equal to 1 and suppose let us say b equal to 1 and afterwards we'll simply print the value of a and a will remain 1 only, we'll not change the value of a and we will change the value of b in every iteration that is we'll double the value of b that is if b is equal to 1 then in the next step the b will become 2 then afterwards 2 into 2 that is 4 and so on okay so this is the basic introductory idea so guys now let's start the program let's see how to print this series first of all we have declared the header files and simply we are saying void main now guys we are taking int i i variable we are using for what we will use a for loop in this case so guys that's why i'm taking int i and simply let us say we want n number of elements we don't know how many elements we should print so that's why we will take that uh, input from the user so let's say n okay n is the number of elements and let us initialize a equal to 1 and b equal to 1 here itself okay like i have already discussed with you so guys we'll simply say what enter the elements in the series and we will take the input from the user using the scanf function we'll say scanf percentage d add of n so we have taken the number of elements in the series now Suppose guys you have given the value of n as 3 so that's why n will store what 3 that is the value of n is 3 now. Now guys what we are supposed to do is we are supposed to print the n element so simply we'll use a for loop here for i is equal to 1 i is less than equal to n and simply we'll say i plus plus. Now let's print this series start printing the series simply we'll say guys printf percentage d then slash then percentage d okay. So instead of this percentage d, what we are supposed to do is we are supposed to print 1 in the numerator every time. 1, 1, 1, 1. So simply we'll say a, okay. Because the value of a is 1. So every time in each and every iteration, the value of a will be 1. We'll not modify the value of a. So that's why every time we'll get the value of a as 1 in the numerator. Now here we'll print the value of b. Initially guys, the value of b was 1. So in the first iteration, the value of a is 1, b is 1. So that's why what will be printed is on the screen. 1 then slash symbol we are given then simple 1 so this will be the output 1 divided by 1 and yes here also we can give the comma okay so that we can print the series in this manner only 1 by 1 comma 1 divided by 2 comma 1 by 4 and so on and this comma is after this double quotes okay this is here we can let me remove this so this will be simply the case for the first iteration now in the second element when we will print the second element what we are supposed to do is guys we have to double the value of b okay so we'll simply say b equal to b into 2 and yes simply we'll close the loop and yes that's the end of your main function as well and simply guys after the program we'll simply say what get ch in order to hold the screen okay so friend this was the program to print this particular series now let's see the working of this loop okay so initially let us suppose the value of n given by the user is 5 so I am assuming n equal to 5 and we have initialized the value of a as 1 and b as 1 so simply a equal to 1 b equal to 1 now let us see the first iteration for i equal to 1 okay so i is less than equal to 5 yes the condition is true obviously so that's why we'll enter the loop and we'll simply say printf percentage d then slash symbol percentage d instead of this percentage d a will be printed the value of a will be printed that is 1 so simply what will be the output guys 1 and then we are giving a slash fin symbol so that's why slash symbol will be there and then the value of b so initially the value of b is 1 so that's why output on the screen will be what 1 slash 1 and then we are simply also given a comma we are giving a comma also so output will be 1 divided by 1 okay and simply there will be a comma and one more thing guys in order to get the output on the next line you will have to give here what backslash n also is it visible no it is not 
you have to give here backslash n also so that the output can come in the next line okay so that's why you have to give here backslash n as well so simply guys after printing this value the value of b will get doubled so initially the b was 1 so that's why the value of b will become what b into 2 so guys the value of b will become b into 2 that is 2 so now the value of b is 2 after the first iteration now the loop will end we'll simply say i plus plus that is your value of i will become 2 now okay this is your second iteration so again we'll check guys 2 is less than equal to 5 yes condition is true so that's why we are printing what a and b the value of a is in 1 only so 1 will be printed on the screen then this slash symbol and then the value of b so the output will be 1 divided by 2 and then a comma we are giving a comma here okay that's why and simply then the value of b will be doubled so initially the value of b was 2 here in the previous iteration so the value of b will be doubled that is now the value of b is 4 and the this is the end of the loop again we'll increment the value of i so i will become 3 guys then again we'll check 3 is less than or equal to 5 yes again your condition is true where is why are you saying that 3 is less than or equal to 5 it is so because we have taken the value of n as 5 okay so that's why so 3 is less than or equal to 5 yes your condition is true we'll again print the value of a and b so a was 1 and b was 5 so that's why 1 by 4 will be printed in the series and then a comma so again a comma will be printed okay and the value of b will get doubled so b will become what 8 4 into 2 that is 8 again in the next iteration i equal to 4 the value of i will be incremented by 1 again yes then we'll check i is less than or equal to n 4 is less than or equal to 5 yes your condition is true again so again we will print the value of a and b so a was 1 and b was what 8 so that's why the output will be 1 by 8 then again we'll print a comma so after printing this value the value of b will get doubled that is b was 8 now b will become 16 guys now again loop will end we'll increment the value of i i will become 5 so we'll check 5 is less than or equal to 5 yes your condition is true again so simply we'll print the value of a and b a was 1 only and b was 16 so 1 by 16 will be printed on the screen and after that a comma okay and then the value of b will get doubled so b value will become what 32 16 into 2 that will be 32 and now guys you can see the end of the loop and again the value of i will be incremented by 1 that is 6 but the condition is false why 6 is less than or equal to 5 this condition is false that's why your loop will terminate and simply the program will end guys so this is the output of your question 1 by 1 comma 1 by 2 comma 1 by 4 comma 1 by 8 and 1 by 16 okay we have given the value of n is 5 that's why we are getting the five elements first element second element third fourth and fifth element of your series if you will get the value of n is 10 so simply guys you will get the 10 elements like 1 by 32 1 by 64 and so on up till total 10 number of elements okay so guys this was a simple program to print this particular series and in our previous video guys we have already discussed a program to check whether the number is buzz number or not it is sometimes asked in your university exams as well so you can check out i'll give the link in the description friend and guys there are various educational playlists in the description available as well you can check them out